There's a hot debate in show business and in front of television sets across the land. It centers on what's called reality-based programs, not reality, but reality-based, or tabloid TV. Its fans say it opens up the medium. Others say it's time to take out the trash. The news is always changing, but there was a time when the way the news was delivered did not. For decades, Americans knew when to tune into their newscasts and who would man the anchor desk. Journalists like Walter Cronkite, who was known as the most trusted man in America. And that's the way it is, Monday, September 11th, 1972. That all changed in the late 80s when one program decided to lead with very different stories, making many of us wonder what kind of news we were watching. Tabloid television, this show is rampant anarchy. People are still asking, who killed Cindy Jane? She needs a man to father a baby. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ari Povich, and welcome to A Current Affair. I was thrown together with the most creative, ambitious, just knock your socks off producers who had no conception of not getting a story. And so we started doing all these stories that nobody else was doing. The sleepwalk killing, the hidden James Dean, pit bull terriers, kids pets or killer dogs. Network newsrooms were putting these stories in the garbage cans. We were taking them out and making unbelievable television and using the classic Shakespearean themes, lust, conflict, drama, betrayal, everything that happened historically in any great story. Little by little, we got a lot of traction. I can't say that tabloid journalism was my husband's fault, but it was my husband's fault. <laughs> he and his cohorts at A Current Affair created this genre. They took it to an, another level. After that, tabloid journalism took off. Rupert Murdoch had the greatest line to me when A Current Affair was nominated for an Emmy in 1989. He said, you know, don't worry. We're not interested in trophies. We're interested in viewers. That's all we care about. Being in Murdoch's favor would come in handy when one of the stories of the century was breaking. A current affairs crew needed a way to get to Berlin fast, so Murdoch lent them his private jet. Maybe the biggest event in 1989 was the fall of the Berlin Wall. Tom Brokaw is there from NBC. Dan Rather is there for CBS. Peter Jennings is there for ABC. And here comes Mari Povich from A Current Affair. And they looked and said, what are you doing here? I mean, this is our story. There's a lot of joy, there's a lot of celebration. But when we get through all of this, there's gonna be a hard look at what the future is. The great picture of the fall of the Berlin Wall was everybody taking hammers and axes. So we decided we gotta really do a big job. So Gordon Elliott, our indefatigable reporter, goes to a firehouse in West Berlin and gets a fire ax. One of those huge, none of these little things, this huge fire ax, and brings it to the wall. And Gordon's got this thing and he starts banging on the wall. And then of course, all the West Berliners are there and say, can I have that ax? So Gordon gives this guy the ax and this guy's got this ax and this guy's picture iconically shows up on the cover of Newsweek. We, we, we never expected that the traditional media would ever accept us, but those network news people were fascinated with what a current affair was doing and he would ask, so what did you do here? And how did you get that? And how did you do this? A current affair success did not go unnoticed and competitors emerged. We'll do it live, it. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Bill O'Reilly was the audacious, mold-breaking host, and it was on Inside Edition where O'Reilly would develop the brash persona that made him a cable news juggernaut. The murder last November was brutal and sudden, and authorities say it could happen anywhere. A current affair, Inside Edition, and hard copy became the unholy trinity of tabloid TV. Low production costs, less competitive time slots, and loyal followings gave these shows huge profit margins. 